the price of oil has crashed, dropping about 10% over a three-day period of time. What's going on with the price of oil and how are you able to take advantage of that? In January, I recommended and I took the position myself to go long oil and XLE stock. XLE stock, of course, is the ETF for the energy sector. That moved up. In May, I have videos for both of these. I said, get out of those, go short. Sure enough, and this was a little faster than I expected, USO stock, which is the oil ETF, has dropped because of oil and XLE stock have both been going down. What can we expect in the future for XLE stock and USO stock? Let's jump in and I'll show you some charts that I'm watching. <laughs> Here's a look at WTI, Western Texas Intermediary. Uh, one of the oils that are traded worldwide. You also have London, of course. This, you can see uh, back on the 29th, 30th, hitting 80.50 for oil dropping all the way to 72.50 and it only took about three, four days for that to happen. We are seeing a bit of a bounce and I'm probably gonna see some more of a bounce, but that's to me kind of a dead cat bounce that we're probably gonna see continued move lowers. So what's going on? First and foremost, the economy is slowing down. Demand is decreasing, supply is increasing. This is the most basic economic principle. Too much supply, price has to go down. At the same time, OPEC has just announced that uh, voluntary cuts, they're getting rid of these voluntary cuts, which means more supply, which is crazy. But that's their feet. They're shooting off. Let them. That's what I say. Uh, seeing the price of oil as low as it is doesn't exactly help out Russia, and I'm totally cool with that. Where we could see prices moving further, lower, if the economy continues to contract the way it is, you've got China, which isn't really accelerating with their economic activity. China's economic activity won't be demanding as much oil. The U.S. economy is slowing somewhat. And it's more a pace issue. I have been saying this over and over that I do not see a recession hitting. But this is interesting that we're seeing a big move in oil prices, uh, USO stock and XLE stock, in summertime. Here's a look at the um, weekly chart. This is a weekly or daily chart on WTI. And as you can see, we've, we've been at these prices before. Prices had moved up last year, pushing all the way almost to about 95 or so. Uh, I could see us hitting sub 70 by the end of this year, which would be a pretty decent move. In the meantime, I expect we're probably gonna see a bounce, uh, maybe as high as 76 in that range. Here is gasoline futures. I don't mind paying less at the pump. I, I drive a Land Rover, an old one, non-efficient, 15 miles per gallon. I don't mind paying less. Um, oil and gasoline run fairly hand in hand with each other. But what I wanted to show, uh, here's the daily on Nemex, um, New York Mercantile Exchange. You can see the price of gasoline has been deteriorating. We could see 210 all the way down to $2 before the end of this year, should supply continue to dump into the market with less and less demand. But one of the things I'm looking at, so here back in January, uh, the bottom, this is the thumbnail from the video I have, it's up on my channel, where I was saying, listen, the energy sector, given the economic information we had back in January, this was like one of the first things I talked about at the beginning of the year, I said, listen, the economy slowed somewhat, inflation's getting in check, interest rates are gonna go down, everything's gonna go up. Sure enough, XLE stock, uh, the energy sector ETF went higher, much higher. I was long. Then in uh, April, I started selling off that position. I put this second video, the top one there, to sell because, and I think this one hit early May, that video. Uh, the way I looked at it, the economy is going to slow more than I anticipated back in January. Federal Reserve needs to keep interest rates longer, higher for longer. That will affect the overall price of uh, oil. We're seeing the demand decline. We're seeing supply increase. Now, another thing here is uh, the Spider Select Sector ETF. 
XLE stock. You can see uh, where the price was back in January, how it shot up all the way up to 98. Um, and then we've been moving lower since then. So XLE is the energy sector. And this is one where they should be moving hand in hand, but on a percentage basis, we're seeing some bigger moves. USO stock, this is the ETF on oil. So if you don't have access to New York Mercantile Exchange, you might have access to USO, which of course is uh, an ETF. I, again, I said oil will continue lower, probably going to bounce. Might be a good time to reload. I'm sort of eyeing up my next position for oil, my next move to the downside. I took most of my profits when this thing happened. I didn't expect one big day dump, but it did. Now I'm looking at it saying, well, what's next? We'll probably see a pop higher and I'm going to start getting back into. One of my favorite trades, a risk reversal. Uh, I will sell calls. I will buy puts. And I usually have a pretty decent gap around the price. And I'm going to take that uh, synthetic short position on oil and XLE stock. Overall, I think stocks are overpriced considering what the economy is looking like. Federal Reserve is going to need to continue to keep interest rates higher for longer. And because of that, we will see uh, demand for oil decline. But then you've got OPEC who's dumping into the market. They've gotten rid of all of their uh, self-induced supply cuts. Well, now they're going to be pumping as much oil as they possibly can to get as much profits as they can with marginal profit margins. So that's going to help us out, obviously, certainly my Land Rover. Uh, make sure to hit the like and follow button. I'm going to keep tabs on this. This is one that I'm probably going to be continuing to get into, building another position to the downside. I expect we'll probably see uh, oil, USO stock, sub 70 bucks before the end of the year. And I want to structure that and I'll use options to do that. Make sure to hit the like and follow button. See you in the next video.